Hello everyone, RapTrax here. As you can see, I'm back in FTP, ready for another episode. And I'm in a brand new room. Um, I made the, the upgrade I was telling you, uh, was, I mentioned, I think a few episodes ago, that I wanted to make a little upgrade to my house. And uh, today, well, today's Sunday, for me, because I'm recording this at night, so this will probably be coming out tomorrow, Monday. Um, but yeah, I had a few, uh, like an hour, a little bit, a little bit more than that, playing around. Um, just bored and uh, get a little creative here. Made some nice little decorations here in the room. It's kind of large, not much going on here, just a few beds. Uh, made myself a nice little balcony because I don't know what else to do with the space. Um, but the main attraction, uh, if you notice in the mini map, is the enchantment room I wanted to make. Um, now, I used a nice little basalt stone uh, brick thingy, it's called, I'm not sure what it's called, I think it's a chiseled one, um, either way, it's the one from the volcano, I just picked it up with the, with the silk touch here, um, I made this nice little enchantment room, now as you can see here, uh, right now the bookcases are just, uh, decoration really, because, uh, if I wanted to get an enchantment on this, um, I can get as high as eight here, I guess, that's a pretty lucky one, eight, I usually don't get eight, um, as you can see, Another eight. <laughs> As I mentioned, I was pretty lucky. Um, it doesn't get any um, upgrade, I guess, from uh, the books here. Now I uh, made it so it's a little modular. Boom. Um, these come up from the bottom, from the floor, and uh, now I can get all the way to I think 18 around there. 20. Oh, okay. So you can get a size 20 with those uh, bottom ones, and then if you pull the other one, the ones from the sides pull up as you can see there the pistons pushing in and I can get full level 30 um, now I'm sure this is not revolutionary by any means I'm sure there's plenty of other YouTubers that mess around with the redstone stuff and make some pretty uh, impressive stuff but I am very happy with the, the results here um especially because it's very like um efficient I guess because it looks nice and there's no redstone exposed and even on the outside this right here that's just a one thick wall, and I'll show you guys how I did this real quick. Um, I, I was debating if I wanted to do this on camera or not, the whole process, but um, as you can imagine with me, there's a lot of fails and a lot of uh, trial and error, getting this right, uh, especially getting the size of the room, excavating the whole bottom area because mainly everything is underground for the, the wiring at least, um, and uh, you know, getting the contacts proper, uh, properly uh, set up because uh, sometimes the wire will set up the bottom and the top one because the, the pistons are rather close to each other. <clears throat> now I believe if I go down through here I'll be able to see everything. So as you can see here, here's the cable for the, the bottom case uh, bookcases to come up. Um, it's just uh, nine from the bottom and uh, that's connected right here this cable to this lever. So that one was pretty simple, straightforward to make, not hard at all. Um, that was the first one I made. Now I was um, I wasn't really sure how to con uh, do the other side because um, the whole idea I wanted to look nice without having too much clutter and like I didn't want to have a like a three thick wall around here. I wanted to be small but uh, nice looking and so forth. And now what I did here is um, actually I'm not sure how to get around here. I think. Um, through here, I should be able to get there. Uh, but yeah, pretty much one of the main issues here was getting the lever kind of close to the other one without interfering with this cable. And uh, my solution was this: uh, I made some cover uh, panels. Actually, these are panels, um, and I ran the cable through the middle like this, and I went up one and then back down to have it pretty much right next to the the, the lever here. So it worked out kind of nicely. Um, I'll, I actually didn't know this could even be done. Um, I just kind of did a lot of trial and error until something stuck. Um, so I'm very happy with the way this came out. <clears throat> as like I mentioned, everything's underground. Nothing is on that side. So as you can see, it's one thick wall pretty much. Um, so let's quickly go around here. And then the cable goes up through the top here, all around. I put some torches down. I don't want any mobs spawning in here, mainly because of uh, there was a lot of um, testing, and um, I need to get in here without having to dig up the whole area every time I had to make a change. So pretty much this goes into contact with the uh, the logs, I mean the planks here, and uh, it actually transfers the signal through the block to the piston above it. So it worked out kind of nicely. Um, 
me just get up here. So as you can see, it gets it gets into contact with the, the, the block down there. And actually what it did here was um put some covers on top of here. Um, I didn't bring my uh, my pickaxe here, so let's just break with it. Pickaxe. As you can see, there's a piston. Um, so all I did was just pretty much cover it up with a with some covers, so I didn't have those three pistons sticking out like that. So you know, it's pretty pretty slim. I think I did a pretty good job here. I really like the outcome. Um, it's not too extremely fancy, but it looks nice and it gets the job done. Um, so let me just get the dirt here and cover everything back up. No, oh, hold on. Forgot a spot there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, let's get this as well. Hold on, I need this for that. And then this to get out. Alright. So, that's pretty much it. And, uh, so yeah, this works nicely. Get a level 30 enchantment. That's why I was, uh, breeding those cows and, uh, all the sugar cane I had over there to make all these book, uh, all, the, all these bookcases. And, um, yeah, I think it looks, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, so let me know if, uh, if you have any suggestions, actually, to make, somehow improve it, even though I really don't see, not any improvement, I'm sure there's plenty of improvements, but it all comes down pretty much to your, your preferences, how you like it to look, but, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of that. Um, something else you probably noticed in my hand is this gravity gun, um, now the the recipe I'm not sure if I showed you guys on uh, before my intentions for a gravity gun, but uh, it was pretty easy to make. Um, just some ender pearls, obsidian, which I had some, and uh, a diamond, which I'm running out of, and I can't seem to get lucky downstairs with the strip mining. Even though I'm mining at around 10 to 15, which is supposed to be the best level for diamonds, um, not very lucky at all. I think I only have like 10 left, 10 diamonds left, which is not that great. Um, Glowstone block, however, was an issue, a little bit of an issue, not that big. Uh, I guess I got a little lucky in that one. Um, because apparently you need a compressor now, and I have no kind of EU generation right now. Um, so a compressor was would have been a pain, especially because I want to do it on camera, and I really wanted to get this done for this episode. Uh, which was uh, organizing the logs outside, the, the rubber trees. So let me just get outside real quick. Oh, I had to replace the door with an iron door because the freaking zombies were just bugging the piss out of me. Um, so, yeah, I, I did what I mentioned. I wasn't sure if it would work because I wasn't sure if uh, it worked in this version of Minecraft at least. Um, Darwin showed this in uh, one of his uh, Let's Plays, and uh, I just thought it was a really cool idea, very efficient um, to get the rubber from here. Now, obviously here, it's only two facing this direction, and then three in that direction, but, um, mainly because I couldn't get, obviously, evenly distributed. I, I'm surprised I only got two, actually, facing, um, where is it, facing south? Yeah, that's facing south. Um, I only got two out of a whole bunch of trees I cut down, obviously, to get these, because I usually only get one or two tops from a bigger tree, um, uh, of these rubber spawns. Um... So yeah, I only got two. I was surprised by that. As you can see here, I got, what is it, seven facing east. Another eight. Wait, that's a little bit. Yeah, it's eight facing north. And seven facing west. So I'm surprised I was only, only got two of those. Um, So yeah, I'm starting to harvest those. I should, gotta, probably should make another tree tap since they all respawned already again. Um, I'll do that later. Um, What else have I done around here? Um, that's about it, I think. Uh, the coke ovens have been working uh, around the clock. Well, I made all these upgrades, so I made sure to keep them fed with uh, coal. This is already the second stack. They're all they're both working on. I made sure to synchronize them, I guess. This one on the left, I obviously finished a little bit earlier since I set it up before this one. So what I did was I split what I was left in here with this one, and then uh, got them both going at the same time. So I have two stacks of coal now. Uh, I mean, coal coke. Um, I'm wondering if that's going to be enough to get it going, the, uh, the steam boilers. Either way, I, um, I do want to at least make them. They shouldn't be too hard to make, um, at least I'm hoping, you know. Let's get some, uh, food going. Um, I should be going to put this in the chest here, I don't really need it right now. Um, so let's see, what do I need to make first? Um, I... I need a solid fuel 
pit box. I think. See, this is going to be an issue because pretty much all these items have um, in the description uh, solid fuel firebox. So, pretty much no matter how much I type, it's just not going to show here. Solid fuel firebox. Oh, oh there you go. That, <laughs> that was convenient. Found it rather quickly. Um, so I need this solid fuel firebox. Man, I need bricks again. Holy crap! I don't, I don't remember ever needing this many bricks. Um, and the furnace is pretty simple. The fire charge is a skull, gunpowder, and blaze powder. And they make three each, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, I'm thinking maybe making a three by uh, three by three uh, boiler. Um, so I would need nine, so I need three gunpowder. Let's quickly make this, uh, three gunpowder. Should have some coal left here. Then take all the coal downstairs. Um, I forgot how much you get per blaze rod. I'll get two. So I need to get another one here. There you go. And now make the fire charges. I think there's no particular order. No, oh, there shouldn't be. Six, nine, perfect. Just put that back in there. Um, now I got the fire charges. Now I'm wondering if I have the bricks. I'll have four. Uh -uh 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 -uh. Eight clay. I did use all of them pretty much with the last thing. Hold on. I really hate having to cut in and out. Um, not a big fan of editing the video. Um. Where's the box here? Yeah, I need... I need, what is this, 3? 5, 6, 7, 7 times 9. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bit. 53... Oh, it's 63. 60, almost a stack full of bricks. Mm -mm. Alright, so I guess what I'm gonna do now is go to sleep. And I'll cut the video while I'll go grab some clay because it's a bit of a walk from here to the spawn area. Because uh, I don't know if you guys remember from the beginning of the series, um, I didn't quite spawn here directly. It was probably like around 100, 150 blocks in that direction. So I'm gonna start going over there, grab some clay. Hopefully, I find some because I've been really emptying out that. Oh. Got one hit, bro. <laughs> Come at me. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the river right here. So it's not that far. So the problem is finding the clay because it's not that um common here. So I'm just gonna cut out and uh because I need to get a whole stack. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm back here. Um, actually, uh, I just got to the river here. I uh, got a nice little deposit. Actually, got pretty lucky. Um, there's a few layers of clay, so I got a little bit over a stack and a half, so I, I, that should be good enough. Um, but actually, I saw this, and that's why I wanted to record again. Um, I forgot what they're called, but there's probably a wisp in here. It's gonna, so I gotta be careful here, gotta light it up. There's usually a chest downstairs with some goodies, ow, and some spawns, so. Ow. Get my ass handed to me here. I want to disable these mob spawners because, oh, god damn it, wisp, stop it! Oh, that's gonna piss them off. All right, that should be good as far as disabling the spawners. I want to get rid of this wisp over here. There we go. Wisp essence, wispy essence, right? So let's see what's downstairs. Um, so one lonely zombie downstairs. So I'm just gonna take care of him real quick. Um, bronze helmet. Sure, I grab that. I won't get the raw flesh. Shiny ingot. Not sure, what that's any good for fire aspect one. Okay. Bucket. Oh, thomium. Oh, I'll grab that. Um, it's not that big of a deal since it's not the, the enchanting one, the, the special one, but, uh, why not? Ooh, glass. I don't think there's anything else in here. 
uh, as far as I know. So let's just get out of here. Um, let's make sure these are disabled. So I know there's a little overkill. But uh, there we go. Maybe I need some bones because I'm upgrading my farm or something. And uh, here's some skeleton spawner. So that should work quite nicely. And a zombie. I'm not sure what a zombie spawner would be useful for. There may be XP since they're easy to kill. Um, but yeah, it's a nice find. It's not that far from the house. 240 meters out. Um, um, actually, I'm surprised I didn't see, notice this earlier because oil there is one of the oil spawns I want to uh, tap on. Into, into, onto, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the oil spawns, pretty much, that I was mentioning. It's not that big, actually, but um, I want to go and show you guys what I mean. Right there, see that hole that goes straight down? That's where the uh, the black gold is at, pretty much. Oh, man, it's like taking me away there. Um, so it's not really about what you see in the surface, because that's really not much uh, as far as source blocks of oil but it's what's all the way down there so that's where you want to put the pump right in that block so it goes all the way down uh, and there's a few other ones I think and uh, there's another one over there there you go so I, I did see a, th a few of these I'm surprised I didn't see the the dungeon thing earlier so I'm just gonna cut here I don't, I don't want to do all the walking switches and I'm running a little late already in the episode um, so yeah I'll be back in a second all right, here I'm back. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, now I uh, decided to skip a little bit past uh, and let some of the clay cook up because I really didn't have anything to do. Meanwhile, um, I did clean up my inventory with other stuff I picked up, um, so I should have enough here, 64, if I did my math right, which doesn't is not always the case. Um, oh, I'm not sure I mentioned this, but I've made some barrels. <laughs> not really a big up. Uh, news there I guess but uh yeah I think uh, I was running a little bit short in space there in my on my chest over there oh there's a stone I was hoping that would be some uh, cobble there oh wait oh well I need nine of these grab one too many here we go and, um, oh yeah, I made this thing, the the alloy furnace, I almost forgot to mention that, kind of completely overlooked it, to make all the wiring uh, for the enchantment room, because uh, I don't know any other way to do it other than using that wire, it's really awesome, the way uh, you can put it on, on the on the top here, and uh, on the walls, regular redstone is just not as uh, good uh, with uh, space management, I guess. To make it go up, you have to put a whole bunch, all kinds of block to make like a staircase for the redstone. So it's not very efficient. Um, right, uh, let's. I think the recipe was something along this line. So I'm just gonna go from uh, top of my head here. Go solid fuel firebox nine. Perfect. All right, look at that. I don't even got my math right. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing uh, math on the fly like that, even though I'm. Just should be, you know, like I'm studying engineering. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how many of you guys know that, but um, if anything, I learned that the math you do for engineering is anything but using numbers. So you, you kind of grow accustomed to use just the, the calculator for quick number uh, math, and uh, because you, that's not really what you're being tested on on the the regular one plus one, I guess, but more on the the whole other nonsense like calculus and all that stuff so yeah a uh, <laughs> little tandem there but uh right i got the oh solid fuel farm okay let's see now for the low pressure stuff um uh, pressure is this it low pressure boiler yep i need iron plates oh boy is there any other way to make that oh right rolling machine so we gotta make a rolling machine and uh, just a bunch of pistons. I don't think I have any pistons left from the mess I made over there. But uh, let's see. I only have two. Which I'm pretty sure the ones I had already. So I made brand new pistons over there. Um, so I need two more pistons. So I should probably made a plan of those pistons. It's always a kind of a pain to make. Um, 
So let's grab a stack of stone. Or just cobblestone. I think it's cobblestone actually. So I'm just gonna put the stone back in there. Um I need some iron. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of pistons actually. So let's see how many how many I can get away with making. And I don't have much wood left after that. The whole expansion to the house. I kinda got bored of wood uh, cutting woods. Um I need some redstone however. So let's see, from the top of my head I can remember how to make this thing, because that's not usually the case. I, don't, I already see I'm a little bit short on wood. Um, so hopefully this will be enough uh, for now. The extra things on top here, isn't it? Yep, there you go. Let's see how many I can make. Seven. Alright, that should help me for a little bit. Did I? Oh my god, I used up all the wood. No, I don't have enough room to make the freaking crafting table. Uh, Alright, let's grab my axe, go to quickly to sleep. I'm almost tempted to chop off a little bit of the wood on the... Who's nearby? Are you gonna be a problem? Get out of here. Come on, bring it. Now you don't wanna climb? Jesus. Alright, let's see if I can go to sleep though. God, you're so annoying. I wonder if there's some kind of like light or something like sh I know there's a shield, but um, oh. he killed himself. Okay, that works. Um, I know in Tech it there's this uh, torch you can make. It was kind of expensive, especially since I don't have that many diamonds. Um, but it will keep mobs away. And, uh, yeah, it would be nice if I could make one of those. Keep... Especially from spiders, man. Spiders drive me insane. Oh, my axe got kind of running a little bit short here. That should be enough wood. I don't want to waste too much time already. I spent way too much. Thought I heard a skeleton over there. The minimap shows one there. I don't see him, though. Well, all right. Let's get some more wood. Let's make this dang crafting table. Um, there you go. And then just iron in the middle. I mean, this is in the middle. I think it's in the corners. There you go. Rolling machine. Now, I believe this thing needs power, some juice. So. Um, let's get some juice. I'm uh, just going to jump down here and see how this is all connected up. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, just going to get some, uh, some of that, uh, redstone, redstone energy. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Did I pick up the ones that had them in my thing here? Oh, good. I didn't. Perfect. A little bit of afraid that it wasn't going to have enough to connect this thing up. So there's the power, 500 MJs, and now I need to make some. Uh, there you go, plates. Um, I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to do. Oh, I can't do it. I do that. Will that work? Yep, that works. Usually, if you put it in a crafting table and you hit middle click, it spreads them out. Somebody told me that in the, in one of the comments some time ago. But, uh, wow, this is going pretty quickly. Well, I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough time here. Um, my watch says I'm already 30 minutes into the episode, but that's not counting the time I took off for uh, smelting the bricks and all that stuff, so I'm not sure how long really it is. I'm trying to make them around 20 minutes, but uh, I don't even know how many I need of that, so let's see. Low pressure boiler. Okay, it's only two, makes one. Um, let's see, I need 9, 18, 27, 27 times 2, 56, 20-something, so I need more iron. A rebel stack. Mm. 
notes here. Let's see how many we can make here. 57. That's only if I. No, wait, that's not 57. It's 27, so it's 56. But it's only for a 3 high boiler. 3 by 3. I'm gonna have to check out the wiki too, so I don't remember exactly what the I know per boiler produce a certain amount of steam per tick, and then certain steam uh, engines produce a certain amount of a uh, of whatever it's called uh, steam of energy. I'm sorry, MJs. So uh, right now I have 32. I need a 27 to make it a uh, three high. So uh, I guess I'm gonna be making it four high. Um, because I'll need another 9, 30, 27, 20, 36. A little bit more than that. Um, a few more iron. Here you go. Should be enough. Um, hoping it'll be enough. Come on, get this over with already. If not, I'm making a little bit extra. It doesn't matter. Alright, let's see how much this gives me now. Should be a little bit over. Yep. Not bad. Uh, do I have the box yet? No, I'm not sure where I want to put this. Because I don't think this is big enough for this. Because it's going to be... But I do want it to be over here by where the engines are. Makes sense they'll be over here. So, whatever. No. Just got a little weird spike there. So, let's see. Uh... Just quickly make this thing. I think I should make it there. I still have enough for another layer. But, <laughs> that will just be a bit of a problem there. Let's grab some stone here. Let's fill her up. Alright. I want to use this one, so I'll keep the stone. I don't want to have to cook it up later. So let's make it all the way to four. Can I even make it to four? Oh, okay. Apparently I can. So I'm thinking this is probably as big as it's going to get. Um, <laughs> That is pretty um, big boiler. So this thing is good. Now, I'm going to need to make an accuracy accumulator and uh, somehow automatically feed it with other stuff and so forth. So it's not quite ready to get there. Uh, I did show you guys a lot of things I made around the house. And uh, hopefully for next time, I'm going to have my steam uh, engines going. <clears throat> so yeah, until next time. Bye.